Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars The Republic. So now then. Already you move through the Citadel as if it were yours. Perhaps someday it will be. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. If your master needs me, he can come to me himself. My master prefers to remain in the shadows. But do not doubt his power, nor his ability to reward success. I speak for him. I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. All enemies of the Sith will die before me. Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. What makes them heretics? Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. If you can uncover the Revanite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. I will earn more than their trust. I will earn their fear. That may be enough. The Revanites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. Okay then. So there's quite a few things to do here. And over there. Hold your position please and keep your weapon holstered. The remotes are scanning you now. You check out. Sorry, my lord. We're on the lookout for anyone with Lord Grathen, and I'm sick of letting him stomp on my people. My lightsaber is the only authorization I need to pass. With respect, being Sith doesn't get you a pass here. Not when it's one of your own who's the problem. Look, stick around a minute. I don't know if you're familiar with the situation, but Grathen's a nightmare. The Sith Lord's gone rogue. He's holed up in his estate past the wall. He's got weapons, shields, and a cadre of scientists developing new tech to use against us. Gratham wants respect and authority from the Dark Council, so in true Sith fashion, he turned on his masters to prove his power. As a result, we have to put up with this lunacy, so if you're here to cause Gratham problems anyway, you might help us out. You have weapons and training. Handle things yourself. Believe me, I'd like to, but my hands are tied. Here's the story. There are nearly a hundred men assigned to this sector, some on the wall, some watching Grathen. Twenty are missing. My men. Practically my kids. Grathen stole them, and I want them back. If your men can't protect themselves, why should I help? Plus it, we're talking about Imperial soldiers. I don't know what Lord Grathen wants with them. Maybe he's holding them hostage just to demoralize us. Who knows? But if you're heading to Grathen's grounds, help them get out. Tell them to report back to their Duchess. That's, um... What they call me. Duchess? You'll have to explain that. You try making it as an officer without getting tagged with a nickname. I've got reports saying that grathen has been transporting prisoners to another wing of his estate. I don't know if it's my people he's moving, but it's worth checking out. Watch yourself. Grathen doesn't mess around. Ah, uh, nicknames for officers. Reminds me of Petscom. Speaking of watch, I've start recording has come to you. You should probably look into that. If you want, that is. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a droid there which basically has a flash point quest. I usually don't do such. Priority missions I usually ignore, so yeah. We did you lose your way in the jungle? You have my sympathies, but we can't help. We have no food or water to offer. There's nothing for you here. 
And strangers are not welcome in this place. You'd best be going. You need to move out of my way. I thought I made myself clear. But you had your chance. You must leave immediately. Wait. You're carrying the token. Huh. Welcome to the Order of Revan, Initiate. Next time, identify yourself. We must protect ourselves. You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Perhaps. Perhaps you'll humble us all, but now is not the time for that. This place is our haven. Built by the Master and protected by the Faithful. Here we leave our duties to the Empire behind. This is where the Master guides us in the mysteries of Revan. The one who began a Jedi, but grew into a Sith, and then something more. Why would a Jedi join the Sith? And what do you mean by something more? As a Jedi, Revan was a warrior who slaughtered armies. As a Sith, Revan was a teacher who trained a thousand dark apprentices. Eventually, Jedi and Sith both turned on Revan. But instead of being destroyed, Revan was reborn. What do you mean, reborn? What was Revan's final fate? Revan was stripped of power, stripped of life, of memory, and left to rot. And still, Revan relearned the ways of the Force. The reborn Revan destroyed Jedi and Sith, and came to Drum and Kaas. Although Revan's life ended here, the Master preserved that life, so that we may learn from it. I don't believe this cult is just about learning. We learn to be better, more powerful. Even though the Empire may not publicly support us, we believe in the Empire's ways. Revan mastered the light side and the dark side, war and peace. We seek to walk the same path. Take part in our rituals, learn Revan's path to greatness, succeed, and you earn the right to join us. What do I have to do to meet the Master? I am eager to speak with him. Around you, you'll find your new teachers, Revanites who have spent their lives recovering the works of Darth Revan. Speak to them. Complete the tasks you are given. When you are through, return to me, and the Master will give you your final lessons. So yeah, the Revanites. You're good to go. There are vehicle pads are currently okay. open for business. Because I will really liked the whole Revanite storyline. So they kept bringing Revan back. Despite like, yeah, Knights of the Old Republic, and then Star Wars the Old Republic, and then, hell, even Shadow of Revan. For Star Wars the Republic. But anyway, more conversations about Revan. So I think my internet. No, I'm here. It's okay. Come closer. It didn't disconnect. You are among the initiates who wish to join our order, and this is good. But tell me something. You are here because of the Order of Revan. Are you ready to die for us? Are you looking for a fight, old man? No, I'm only asking a question. Consider carefully. For every Revanite must face the trial of death. Just as Revan died at the hands of the Jedi and Sith. Death freed Revan. Left him unbound from all oaths and promises. It paved his road to rebirth. Right. Will death free you from your past? Let me be clear. I'm not going to die. Do not be frightened. Change is nothing to fear. Before us is a path. Beyond the path is a cave. A cave dedicated to Darth Revan. Initiates fall on the path. Initiates are torn apart by things inside the cave. But initiates who reach the end are reborn. Remade. Your superstition doesn't impress me. Then cower in the compound until the guards throw you out. We don't need Revanites who can't prove their worth. Or are you willing to do what is necessary? The path is here. The cave. The cave will be more trying. The tougher, the better. Remember, survival is not your goal. Trust in the path of Darth Revan. We have nothing more to discuss. Go and return to me when you reach the end of the cave. The cave. The cave is all that's important. The cave. Which is over here. Uh, 
This video might end up being a tad long because there's quite a few things to do in it. I mean, there's the Revenite stuff, there's being zapped by things. There's the graphing area. Nobody better mess with us now. First, I realized I could be Revan? using my spare Impressive and secret shrine thingy. But I decided I'd wait a while. I mean, I'm level 20 and I already out left the zone, so yeah. Hey look, it's Revan. And then we were let go. Game over. Why am I hearing beeping? Not sure. Do I remember that beeping ever happening? You return. Dripping with the blood of the womb, you are reborn. Your old life. Everything you were, all of it is dead. Buried inside that cave. Of course, whatever you say. You are free now. Free of everything you once were. Savor the moment. It won't come again. Tell me how it feels. Your obligations have vanished. Your past no longer burdens you. How does it feel to see the world reborn? I don't feel anything. There is no shame in that. When Revan died, the rebirth took many months. It will be no different with you. You've done well. And I'm proud that you've begun your new life as a Revanite. Choosing allegiance to us, first of all. Take this gift to guide you in your new life. It will remind you of what you've become. Leave now, and may the force make you strong. Huzzah! I'll never try one. Getting stuck on things. Come forward, speak to me. We're all students of Darth Revan, and I enjoy the company of initiates. I remember when I was like you. I remember my trials and the joy of killing in the Master's name. You're so fortunate. I don't need a cult leader to tell me when or whom to kill. Neither did I, but you'll find that killing as a Revanite is more fulfilling. I'm Ladra. Once the personal assassin of a Sith Lord, I am now the serene protector of the Master and his students. I contemplate Revan's teachings as I execute intruders and heretics. But I also guide initiates and help determine their trials. How did a disturbed woman like you acquire so much power? Disturbed? I am the product of Darth Revan's teachings and the Master's instruction. My mind is clear, as yours will soon be. Every Revanite's initiation includes a trial of the past, a right to bind the initiate to Revan. Your right will be very special. You will find the mask of Darth Revan, what he wore after becoming Sith. It's a powerful symbol of his greatness, long lost to us. I have to do this to meet the Master. Of course. The Master doesn't waste time with students. You must complete your initiation. The mask is in a collection of antiquities possessed by my former teacher, the Sith Lord Grathen. It must be freed from that heretic, rescued in a reign of blood and death. So yeah. We need to go to, to Lord Grathen's estate. Why are you so interested in it? I'll give it a place of honor here in the compound, of course, so every Revanite can see it. Speak to Torun, the nah, she just wants to He'll give you the spiritual guidance it. you need and tell you where the mask is. It's when the journey's done, bring the mask to me. Good luck. Welcome the peace that comes with serving the master. 
However, we are actually going to go charge to this guy. What have we got here? I wasn't expecting a visit from any initiates, but you're welcome to stay and talk in any case. I'm Tarun, devoted servant of the Master and student of Revan. What can I do for you? I need to know where Darth Revan's mask is, and be quick. So, Ladra sent you. She wants me to ritually prepare you for contact with Revan's mask, eh? A pointless ceremony. Ladra's devoted to the Revanites. She is also obsessed with that mask. Says it talks to her. Ladra wants the mask to represent everything Revan ever was, but he wasn't just Sith. Before his rebirth, he was both Sith and Jedi. I could tell from talking to Ladra that she's lost her mind. I'm glad you noticed. There is a fine line between worship and mindless obsession. It's is tempting to seek answers in material objects. Ladra will use the mask to teach that Revan was a being of only darkness. I don't want that mask becoming our order's sole focus. Bring it to me. I'll keep it safe among a few like-minded scholars. Sounds like you'll benefit from this as well. I'm not after the mask for myself. I have no use for it, except for what it represents. I'm sure Ladra promised a grand reward for the mask. I can't match it, but I can promise your initiation will proceed smoothly. Will you help me preserve the real Revan? Or will you let Ladra overshadow everything with a Sith relic? I'll bet that mask would look good on me. I doubt it's in any condition to wear. Still, that would be better than giving it to Ladra. I don't have to tell you to be careful, but may the Force be with you. May it keep you strong and guide your return. Light side, dark side choices. Has... As a progress in lore objects, because by well and lore, they really love their code. It says. Authorization. Authorization. System cannot identify. Please don't go. Please don't go. What's happening? Are you with Lord Clathen? Are you invading? System cannot identify. You're awfully emotional for a heap of machinery. You don't. I am not a machine. I'm not a droid. I. System cannot stop. Reassigning priorities. Operating number 2188697. Please, did the Duchess send you? Please help me! Your commander sent me to free you, and the others. We failed him. Failed to defend ourselves. Grathen's people took us prisoner for experiments. The scientists cut open our heads, put us in droids. Identification model OHK-99. They program us for advanced intelligence. Enhanced combat tactics. Now my body's lying dead across the room. I can see it. This mad science is nothing next to the Force. Then destroy it. Destroy this technology. I'm the last. The others have all been converted. They can't talk, can't disobey. But I know they can still think, feel. Please listen. You could disable us all. Send the shutdown command from our central command console. Please, you could put an end to this. Use the command console. I can't go with you, motor and combat systems non-functional. Please, make it stop hurting. 
I could do that, but I'm sure there's also an, uh, an alternative. Using the, this console, you can disable the Ankh 99 droid units or set them to report back to the Empire. Well, obviously, for the Empire. Vet disapproves. She disapproves of pretty much everything I do, though, so. <laughs> You can pretty much guess that before the changes to the fetching system, I pretty much never used vet that much because, yeah, she disapproves of pretty much everything I do. <laughs> Since I prefer, I prefer Treek because Treek doesn't judge us, or HK51, because they don't judge me, usually, mostly. All better. You must be the operative Lord Barris sent. I thought he'd choose a stealthy assassin, not some senseless savage. Watch who you're calling a savage. You're not talking to one of Barris's Imperial peons. I'll be working for Lord Barris long after you've worn out your welcome. Care to put that theory to the test? We've got business to handle. With the entire complex roused, we'll have to get in each other's faces another time. Now listen. Lord Grathen is a rogue Sith who boldly defies the Dark Council. Locked away here, he's been untouchable. Lord Barris wants to let Grathen know he can be reached. And after a year undercover, I discovered the way. Lord Grathen has a son. Maybe in another year you can find out his shoe size. He wears boots, not shoes, smart mouth. <laughs> I was assigned to find Grathen's weakness. He's kept his son a secret in order to protect him from his enemies. Grathen would be devastated if his only child and heir was dead. That would send a message. Just tell me where he is. I will be the messenger. You'll have to be more than a messenger. Grathen's kid is nearly twenty and strong with the Force. He's been trained in the ways of the Sith since birth. You'll have your hands full. I'll fill my hands with his entrails. My, how graphic. You're a true Vulgarian. Grathen's away on business. I managed to hack a special spike that will get you inside his private quarters. But first you're going to have to knock out Grathen's surveillance station so you aren't seen entering the quarters. What do I care if I'm observed? The surveillance system is also a sophisticated defense network. If you don't destroy the system before entering the private chambers, you'll never make it. All you have to do is locate the monitoring stations around the compound and, well, stick your lightsaber in them. Think you can handle that, brute? Now stick Keep my lightsaber calling me names, Bow. You're playing with fire. Is it so easy to get under your skin? That's all, then. Destroy the monitoring stations, then get inside Grathen's private quarters. The son's name is Beelslit. Find him and end him. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Try not to screw up. I kind of like his attitude. Right. So yeah, we have to go in there. We. So inside the market value on this place must be sky high. Makes my brain hurt trying to figure. Yes, yet we can't just rob the stuff and sell it for credit. 
sad face. Insert epic music that can't be played because that's a me. But we found reference mask. Looks like we're going to put on the mask and then Yeah, it just disappears. Like we have reference mask, but it, we were gonna put it on, but it just disappeared somehow. It'd be too convenient if you could actually wear the thing. Well, you technically can, but that costs like several million credits. Huzzah. Got to love expensive items. We. And now for one of my favorite scenes. For inner circle reasons. The only I and my friends will understand. But it's still fun. Mother, a stranger approaches. You don't know the half of it, kid. I am Sylvanta Grafen. How dare you enter my son's room uninvited? Who are you? My name won't matter when you're dead. You'll find I'm not so easily intimidated. My son is still an acolyte, but I am Sith. Beelzlit, take cover. No, Mother! I stand at your side! Attack! Well, that was a dumb move. I mean, he's not even a strong enemy. All better. Enough. It's clear we are not your match. Clearly. If we're to die, I must know. What have we done to deserve death? I kill your son to wound your husband. Mother, if I am the target, save yourself. I don't want to see you die. My son, you must not sacrifice yourself for anyone, not even me. You must endure at all costs. Assassin, you've carved your way into the inner sanctum of Lord Grafen's compound, all to kill a boy. You are a breath away from the master himself. Spare us, and I'll help you destroy Lord Grafen instead. Yep, Those aren't my orders. Feels lit. Run! No, mother. If I am to die, I die alongside you. <laughs> yep. Still amusing to me. Still amusing to me. Just how you we stab her and throw her into that wall. And let's talk I'm surprised to you survived. Dish. So is it done? Is Grathen's son dead? You're a condescending windbag, Baal. It's pretty easy to push your buttons, brute. Doesn't say much for Grathen's security forces if a clumsy clod like you was able to bang into his private chamber and off his son. Why don't you back up that mouth with action? That's exactly what I had in mind. Killing the murderer of Grathen's son will solidify my cover here. Barris can replace you easily. Barris will be needing a new spy. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Though I'm more than capable of facing you alone, a smart man uses every advantage. 
and I am a smart man. Seriously, I like how he's just like, oh, wait a minute. Let me just the call intruder! for backup. The intruder is here! Everyone to me! Attack! Like, seriously, wait a second. Let me call for backup first. You're good to go. And he's not even elite. That's just sad. Just sad. So, I guess I have to thank you for returning my soldiers. My soldiers who've been tormented and put in droid bodies. My soldiers whom I didn't even recognize at first. You brought them back to me. They'll serve the Empire better than ever now. They'll certainly be loyal, and they've sure got firepower, but that's secondary. They're missing their minds. They'll take orders, but they can't think like people anymore. Not your fault, I get that. Blast. But looking at those droids makes me sick. Find some self-respect, worm. Best thing to hope for is that with time, they don't remember what's happened. Hope that their brains shut down completely. Blast it all. Anyway, you've earned your pay. You've made my superiors very happy. Those men. Your attitude serves you poorly. Understood. You won't hear it again. I'll see you around. And anyway, I need to contact these droids' families. Congratulations. Your son just became a droid. In service of the Empire. You're good to go. Indeed I am. Light side. And dark side choices. Ah, you've returned. Huzzah. You must have talked to Tarun by now. Did you make it out to the estate? Did you? Did you see the mask? Wasn't it amazing? I tried to wear it and disappeared. But here you I are. have the mask right here. Oh, you have it. I never thought I'd see it again. Free from Grathen's prison at last. Free from the hands of heretics. It's a wonderful day. You're falling over a trinket. It isn't Revan, only a mask. Oh, poor initiate. You still don't understand, but it's all right. The mask is with us now. I have a gift for you, to celebrate your success and the completion of the rite. I can't finish your initiation, only the master can do that. But I can recognize achievement. You've done so very well. The mask will guide us forevermore. Right. Crazy people. More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. I'm not interested in being judged by my inferiors. Until you've proven yourself, you're nothing here. Remember that. Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the master. I'll strike down anyone who stands in my way. That's a place to start. You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. From what I've seen, weakness prevails among the Revanites. Then it's time you saw something more. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. Ah yes, the true Revanites. Okay, not you guys. You're good to go. Oh, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revanite, and I am Sith. What do you say to me? What do you expect me to say? I'm very impressed. I do not need your <laughs> praise, Initiate. For decades, I have served the Master. He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. A, a, a Against the Empire's traditions, he trained what? me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. What's your point, exactly? It is something you must consider if you are to be a Revanite. It will shape you, change you. Now you will answer a question, and you will answer well or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. 
You speak like a true Ravenite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Let's get this out of the way. Seek the mercenary called Set Afar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Beep, beep. So normally I cut the recording here because I'm just traveling. But yeah. Just traveling. But I see a thingy. I don't go over with us now. So, it's a thing. I know you know what the thing is, too. This is great, thanks. Huzzah. Talking of some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? Tell me who you are, then I'll answer. I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. You totally lost me. Mandalorians honor their foes. We respect a hard-earned victory. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the Order in Revan's name? To fear foes, put guests into a fight, not become mighty, put guests into a fight, so... I'll learn all I can about Revan's past. Fine. The Order has enough warriors. You might be able to serve. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. I'll sleepwalk through it. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Right. We. Oh no, it's a Revenite. Quick! Pew pew! Pew pew! It's not working. We're doomed. Come on over, there's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Pathel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. You're awfully cheerful, aren't you? Indeed, a necessary yeah. precondition of living on the wall, I think. To keep healthy out here, one needs spirit. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? Quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I need no help to claim my rightful place. Ha, I didn't think so. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? We need to show our enemies the truth. And we will, wherever we can. Not to say we shouldn't defend ourselves, but we won't become traitors to the Empire either. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. Then I'm done with the likes of you. So you are, for now. Huzzah! And thus, we're done.
Skip that part of the Revenite Crest. Progress. Destination? Enjoy your stay. So yeah, the experience... It's not too bad of a cut-off. It's still noticeable. I mean, getting up to try which is easy enough, but... Yeah. Experience is definitely nerfed now. It's not so much that's going to be a problem in the long run, but... May become a problem in the short run. Especially if I don't get more of these. Which I might not because I'm not a subscriber. They might not actually give me more. So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. I'm only interested in meeting the master. You're on your way. Take pride in that. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. If that's right, I have no more need for you. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Beep, beep. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. No, it's but you've met the challenge and enough. showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. It took you long enough. This won't be a waste. This time, you're ready. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. At last, the respect I deserve. You may go to the Master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. Nobody better mess with us now. And now we just walk over here and poke this thing. You who have died and been reborn, stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. Are you too afraid to show your face? Silence! This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. All that to meet up with you? I'm hardly impressed. If I wanted you to be impressed, I would never have come to meet you. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. Why did you found the Order in the first place? I stumbled upon the mysteries of Revan on Korriban when I became Sith. That started me down a terrible path. Revan came to Drummond Castle after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our Order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You're completely mad, aren't you? Could a mad woman have achieved so much power? Believe in me. Believe in the path of Revan. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. Right. You should really play Knights of the Fallen Empire. I think I've heard enough conspiracy theories. It's difficult, I know, to think that our great Emperor suffers. But I would ask you for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. 
Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revenite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. What makes you think I won't betray you instead? You're one of us now. I put my trust in you, Revenite. I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revenites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. Somehow, I'm not terribly disappointed. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. Oi. And now we just go right back here again. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. So yeah, Revenite. A bit crazy. And obsessed with Revan. They show up more relevant in the Shadow of Revan expansion. Which I might do. Not sure yet. Anyway, Sandor. The Master of the Lightsaber returns. He must have taken great willpower to leave the Revanite cultists alive long enough to investigate them. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? Okay, so here's the thing. It used to be you had to choose the light side option here to get an achievement from this. Which is probably the only light side choice in the game that I usually make. However, that's no longer relevant. So you can choose the dark side one and still get the achie uh, achievement title thing, yeah. She's a Sith Lord. Dark skin with right. black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her. Yes. Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Whatever you can do to her and her people, it isn't enough. Likely true. But I'm sure the punishment will suffice. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas. So you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. The Order was too weak to survive for long. You speak truly. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action. And there it is. Revanite. Or so a hat. But we want the day crystals. Reminds me, I need to actually put mod in my stuff still. And maybe when we finish with the planet. Now there's one more part for us to do before we head to the n in this video. And now to talk to Dark Bears. <coughs> I love this response. Is there some problem here? Who would ask such a stupid question? Clearly, there's a problem here. Oh, really? Okay, I'm officially scared. This is impossible. An unknown power must be shielding this man, which only confirms my suspicions. This Republic agent is the key to unlocking the threat we face. I must harness my rage and frustration. They will lead me to an answer. <sighs> Wake me when you figure it out. Your insolence will one day be your undoing. I would punish you if I wasn't so pleased with your progress. And the word has spread that Lord Grattan is incensed at the slaying of his secret son. I take it that was your handiwork? I didn't even break a sweat. My confidence in you is growing. I haven't heard from Dreykel Ball, my agent in Grattan's camp. He's missed a scheduled communication. 
Let me guess. He gave you trouble, did he? I bled him dry and danced on his corpse. Oh, no matter. He fulfilled his primary purpose. Every Sith must attempt to orchestrate his own promotion. Now, back to my prisoner. Now. There's one last possibility to break him. I thought it impossible, but perhaps there's a small chance you could pull it off. Over a millennium past, the Emperor claimed Drummond Kars and made the Dark Temple the epicenter of Dark Force energy. In the bowels of the temple, he conducted horrifying experiments that drained the knowledge and life essence from all the greatest Sith Lords of the time. Sounds like my kind of guy. I'm sure that he would be relieved to hear that you approve. The Emperor created a device called the Ravager that ate his victims' minds and delivered to him their greatest secrets. No one could withstand the Ravager's intrusion. Even the strongest Sith Lords of the Empire confessed whatever the Emperor craved. I'm sure the Emperor has the best toys. I wouldn't call the Ravager a toy, Apprentice. It's not to be taken lightly. The Emperor keeps the Ravager hidden in the Dark Temple, which has, in his absence, become a death trap. There's a good chance the horrors that await you will be too severe. But it's worth your life to me. The legends describe a secret chamber in the depths of the Dark Temple where the Ravager was encased. You'll know the device by its inscription. Be swift, Apprentice. Well. And there we go. New objective. Huzzah. So next time we shall head to the Dark Temple. We hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all and have a nice day. Our Fett wants to talk to us. But we have to go to a bar, or a ship, or something. Maybe the apartment. I'm not sure. But next time, hope you all enjoy. Thank you all, and have a nice day.